Another common misconception is that carnivorous plants require deep shade. Now whether that's true for, for some of the carnivorous plants, uh, some of the Nepenthes species for instance, the majority of plants that you're likely to grow commonly in cultivation, like these Saracenias, these North American pitcher plants, are actually adapted to high light levels. Now imagine where they live. They're, they're, they're bog plants. They live in saturated wet soils, which by their very nature are very low in nutrients. Now because the soil is so low in nutrient, it can't sustain larger growing plants, which is why these guys are carnivorous in the first place. It's a way of supplementing the poor diet they get from their soil. Now as a result, these are the larger growing species in, in a bog quite commonly. Now because the bog can't sustain larger growing plants like trees and what have you, these plants are adapted to high light levels because there's nothing to shade them. And so they're certainly not the subjects for the deep shade. Keep these in deep shade, they, they go a, a, a dark green colour. They can't sustain their, their growth, they fall over, they look really messy and they'll only last a season. So for these guys, um, the pitcher plants, the Venus flytraps, the sundews, they must be in full sun, full day. Now the nursery here, um, the orientation is sort of the east to west. Um, it gets the sun during the, the hot part of the summer for at least 14 hours a day and that's full direct sun with no shade whatsoever. So really these guys, in terms of light, you would grow them to the same sort of uh, level that you would for cacti.